Yo, what's good, fellow CEOs? Welcome to the irony of gaming. So, counterside. Let's discuss what happened recently, not too long ago. So, we ended up getting the 1.5 anniversary live stream, uh, like what, a few days ago or so. And I gotta say, with those changes that are coming in the future, I'm pretty stoked with it. And if you guys haven't got the chance to watch the live stream yet, um, then yeah, you know, not to worry, because I'm gonna go through the patch notes a little bit of what they're planning in the next future and stuff like that. And I think there are some that are gonna start showing up like literally next month for September. But also too, there's gonna be a few there's gonna be a few of those new changes that's coming up like literally as we speak, you know, during the maintenance, because the maintenance that's happening tonight. And we're going to end up getting a few other changes that's going to be pretty cool. So, you know what? Let's, uh, let's go take a look at this um, update of this stuff. Let's see what's going on here. Alright, so, so far, they so what they were doing before, they, they're going to uh, obviously give us a stream, the main stream of episode 12. Which, so far, I'm liking the, the main stream stuff. It's getting intense. The story is getting pretty good. I highly recommend you guys read it on your own time and stuff like that when you get whenever you get the chance. And we're getting some new substreams. Substreams I really like those doing those too because they connect to the main story. So it just gives you more information on what's happening. And I guess you could say it, it breathes a lot of life into that into this uh, world of Counterside, which is pretty dope. Now we're gonna get six new awakened employees. I think we already know a few of it thanks to our clairvoyance within the global server. But there are a few others that we have yet to know about even in the KR server, which is gonna be pretty cool and interesting. And we're getting some new operators and some new SSR units from here. For what we, for what I see here, we got the four, four new counter passes. I'm interested to see how that's gonna go, and the rearmament of machine collector. So I thought that this was gonna be only for the KR server, and we was gonna get it at a later date. But they recently came out with a uh, patch notes, like I think, you know, within the morning or something like that, depending on, you know, depending on where you are in the world. But we're actually getting machine collector literally after the maintenance so that's pretty cool right there and nice seven new skins and the fifth prestige service skin i wonder what that's gonna be i think we got like what like 40 days left with um Explacia. that looks dope i like how that looks Hold on, let me see if i can zoom out of this and there we go yeah that looks cool I, I read up on her kit a little bit. It's it's pretty interesting, and I I I'm definitely gonna test this unit out a lot more just to see. Well, whenever, whatever you know. Well, tomorrow when you know she releases and all that stuff. Got to do a bit more research on it. But now they said that this unit here, this is one of the awakens that's gonna be new, and it's gonna be like a surprising unit from here. I think this is supposed to be like a soldier, another soldier awaken. By the looks of it, I mean, I, I, I got a few guesses here and there. Let me see. What was the unit from here? I, there's two units that I have in mind. Well, actually, no. There's three units that I have in mind that it could possibly be. The first unit, I think, is probably it might be Jane Doe. Possibly. The second unit, which... I don't know. I don't know if, if it's going to be a surprise to anybody or not, but I think it's Revenant. Now, without spoiling anything, I'm, you know, basically what whatever happened in the story or whatnot with Revenant is probably the reason why I think this way. Because, uh, you know, some certain things in the story and stuff like that. I think it's like either in the mainstream or maybe in the substream. It's, it's one of those. But I... I personally think that Revenant could be a pretty good candidate for uh, the next Soldier Awaken. And now, the one thing that I think of too, which is going to be pretty interesting, is I think that maybe we might have an operator 
that could become a potential awaken. Now, why is that? Because, for instance, Lee Soo Young, she's an operator. Yes, yeah, she has two. Um, yeah, she got two units. She has two SSR units. One that's an awaken, and the other one that's an SSR unit. And she's all. She also has an operator form, and also Sigma. Sigma is the same thing. Has an awakened form and also an SSR unit. So possibly, what my guess might be is it could be the Mansion Master. She might actually be the next uh, Soldier Awakened. Because I don't think she's a counter. I don't think she's a counter at all. So that could be something. That could be something uh, interesting if they if they do make her into that. But yeah, th those are just my guesses and stuff like that. But um, you know, if you guys have any other, you know, any other possibilities or who could be the next soldier awakened, uh, just let me know. Let me know in the comments section. Now, <laughs> this one right here. Now, I am pretty sure that we all know who this is, and if it is not the unit that I think it possibly could be, then that means that that would be the biggest debate that the devs have done but i personally think that this is probably neil this has to be neil blue steel has to be now i always i always suspected that she had like some type of potential within the story like she's just you know she just has that hidden potential and i'm thinking that if this is neil right here then we get to see you know where her, where her, you know, her full awakened powers is like. Now, I found something really interesting when I saw like the uh, the chain thing right here. I mean, it, it's pr it probably there's probably no relation to this, but it, when when I looked at this type of weapon right here, it reminded me of the chains for the SSR version of uh, Roy Burnett. I always I, I thought that I was like, you know, I was comparing the two. I was like, you know, this reminds me of the shield with chains and stuff like that for his SSR version and stuff like that. I mean, I, I could possibly be wrong and there's probably no relation to it at all. But who knows? You know, maybe, maybe this is like another another Neil from another dimension or something like that. And she probably got her hands on the shield probably. And who knows? Does some wacky stuff with it. I don't know, <laughs> but I mean, we'll we'll figure it. We'll find out sooner or later, right? But if this is Neil, that this is this is pretty cool because I I, I did want to see a um an awakened version of Neil Blue Steel. Now this one right here. So I have a few I have a few ideas on who this could possibly be, but from what this looks like, this looks like this is a blade some type of sword and whatnot now i have a few ideas of what it could be and the few units let me go here real quick to the awaken side of it because i mean obviously it has to be an awaken for a prestige skin right so far i mean that's what we've been getting but one of the one, one of the ones that i was thinking of is maybe it could be ray it might be a gender bent ray, possibly. And honestly, that would be pretty. That would be pretty dope. <laughs> that would be pretty cool if that's the case. Now there was another unit that I had in mind that this could possibly be. I mean, it could, I mean, it could possibly be Mina, possibly, eh, maybe. Maybe Mina, only because she has the, the blade. I don't think it'll be Hilda. But... And it, it, it couldn't possibly be Esclasia, because, I mean, we, we already have, you know, the other... We already have the Prestige version of it right here, so... And I don't think they're going to do another Rosaria. But then again, I, I really wouldn't be surprised if they did. But yeah, the, the, but but mainly, I really do think that it could be Ray, though. It could be Ray, or it could be um, Lee Sion. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely would like to see a prestige skin of Lee Sion. But 
yeah, we just gotta wait and see and whatnot. But yeah, just let um, you know, if you guys got any ideas on who it could be, let me know in the comment section. Now, what's this one? This one right here, we went through this. Now, this is this right here, I, I like this. And I have a few friends too that plays the game also. And it's always nice to have like something like this, especially if you're gonna put this in a friendly match. So basically what this is, is that this is the, uh, the Gauntlet Spectator Feature Edition. So you can go into like the friend, like, you know, the friendly match matches and stuff like that. And you could just set up um, a PVP room and you could just have a group of like, you know, groups of people, I guess, like you could put like a code in there, like a secret code and, you know, give that to people. And then people would just put that code in and then they'll just automatically join in there and people can just watch the matches and stuff like that while everybody's just you know facing each other and i think i think that that's something that they should have put in the game for a long time you know it's really awesome that they're adding this feature in here and you know people like streaming and stuff like that you know streamers who, and who are streaming the game and stuff like that they could just add viewers and stuff like that they could just start playing each other and you know learn different comps so it's, it's, I think that that's a pretty dope feature right here. This one right here for the draft season. So the tournament. I think this is the one with where they're going to try and put Global and the KR servers together. In, you know, only in this tournament section and stuff like that. And I just got to say, like, I look forward to facing the KR server. Definitely want to test my skills against them. <laughs> Uh, that, that that'll be pretty cool now this one right here now i i'm not really sure on how this one's really gonna work like to my understanding is that if you have an excess amount of operators you can select the operators that's there like you know the ones that you don't want and then you can extract their 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 um skills the, you know the random skills that they have right here you can extract it and i guess like they don't get added into the storage section, but they'll get added to their own special type of storage. And now my question is that I'm wondering if like, because you see how it has it here, right? Where, uh, where you go to a hundred, where it's like, it's a hundred percent that I increase the level. So what I'm thinking is what happens when this reaches like level two and then you'll try to use another level one to try and level this up. Would that start to affect the percentage wise? Would that start to affect it? So wouldn't this be like 75%? So trying to put a level one to a level two. So then maybe you have to get copies of it. Make me, you know, make it like a uh, level two and then try to mix it with another level two of the same thing. And then it'll just equal to 100% again. Because if that if that's how the the function is going to work, this will be pretty interesting. But nonetheless, I'm looking forward to this. Although it's it's gonna cost you know obviously a lot of intel, and believe me on this, you can you can run pretty low on intel if you're not careful. <clears throat> now this right here, so the max level expansion. So this is pretty much going to boost your units from 110 to 120. And this is actually coming in September too. That's interesting. And you need like a special type of fusion core, which I think you have to use a fusion cores to convert that. Materials required for the limit fusion to increase the maximum level will vary depending on the level range. For limit breaking from 100 to 110 ah okay yeah so it will be used as a material just like before however the limit fusions is a new material called fusion called special fusion cores will be required okay so we can craft them at the shop but i yeah but we only have a limit so it's like a weekly limit on what we can craft okay that's uh, that's understandable the exact number of fusion cores required to craft it. Okay, so you're gonna need more fusion cores to craft that. But that's gonna be that's gonna be okay because now we can actually farm it. Now what I'm hoping for, like 
I hope it's not one of those things where, it, you know, where it has like three, like it, you can only do this three times and then it's only going to give you like three fusion cores. I, I really hope that's not the case. I hope that they're going to give us a lot more than that. But yeah, that, that's what that's what I'm hoping for. And they can, and I'm I'm assuming that they're they're gonna give us like you know the the cost of the quartz like 80 quartz to refresh it at least twice, and or at least once or twice. But anyways, I, I'm hoping that they give us more than just three fusion cores when we're farming it. <clears throat> now the rearmament data. So the rearmament data. This is going to be interesting because they're going to be removing they're going to be removing the previous system that we have right now and they're going to convert it into something different. Now we're going to end up using fusion cores to do this. So for those of you who don't have like for those of you who have like, you know, the extra materials so far with the rearmament stuff, you pro I think you probably should start like you know get into the units that's rearmed like get the get the rearm units that you want now before this update starts to show up because i'm pretty sure you guys are going to want to save your fusion cores for you know other things especially for the alt alternium reactors so yeah like definitely definitely get the ones that you want and then you because they, they did mention something about like there's going to be like a shop for it although i don't know if you're able to convert those remaining rearmament datas into like extra fusion cores and stuff like that that would be pretty dope if they did allow us to do that but i don't think that they will but yeah it's like i still have like a, a huge amount of it and a huge amount of this one too so I'm, I'm i'm curious to see what they're how they're going to implement the shop and what do we get for converting these in there but if i mean if you guys do know what like you know any other extra info if you know what they're going to do then uh yeah feel free to let me know because i don't i don't think that they they mentioned exactly what they're going to do with the shop yeah in addition we're also preparing an event shop yeah an event shop with CEOs to use the rearmament data I wonder I wonder what they're gonna what they're gonna give us for it <laughs> it better not be credits that would be hilarious well yeah you know we're just gonna give you a few million credits that's it <laughs> Now the APT core unification. So this is going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting. So basically we had three, right? So we had the APT cores and we had the SAPT cores, right? So what happens is that we got three types of units. We got the soldiers, counters, and the mechs. Now, each and every one of those guys, they have their own APT cores. So now what they're gonna do is that they're gonna unify it all. Which, I mean, that's pretty, I mean, I, I think that's fine. And I think actually it's, it's actually a lot easier too because I mean, when it comes to like soldiers and stuff like that, I, I don't have a lot of the materials for it and I usually have more of the materials for it with the counters and then I usually use the mech stuff as like you know like the fodder stuff for getting the what's it called the um that material that you need for the alternium stuff anyway I, I use I use those like the mech or the soldier ones because I you know I mainly have a lot more counters than anything but this is going to be pretty cool anyways because now you could just because now that all of this is just going to disappear and it's only going to be just one now so everybody's going to be under one thing which I think that's going to be eh, it's going to be interesting 
but if you're a new player it may be a little challenging maybe but I don't know I I have this I guess you could say that I have this like prepared because I do I stack up on a lot of items and stuff like that so I'm curious to see how these will be converted so if I were to use something like I guess like do that will it just turn it into one after that or will it just do something else <laughs> yeah I'm cur curious to find out how that's gonna function now so this is the one thing right here right the raid difficulty expansion so they're gonna be increasing this to 190 now this is one thing that I was suspecting before I think this was like after I think like a year ago maybe when they did the you know the massive overhaul of the game for counter side with the the new origin update so I could have sworn that I seen this before this was like I guess you could say like a month or two maybe after the the new origins update when I had upgraded my one of my t7 gears I think it was like a maze or something like that I've seen something that said maybe like a T, uh, like a T8, possibly, like the next upgrade. So what I'm suspecting is that this is this is probably going to be like this might happen, you know, sometime down the line. I could be wrong about this. I could be completely wrong about this, but this is just speculation on this. But I think that they're going to eventually give us a tier eight gear. Now the reason why I'm thinking about this too is because. They did mention that they're going to come out with a lot more difficult content. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, so not only are we going to get raid difficulty stuff, but we're going to get more end game stuff and possibly another dive. We're possibly going to get another dive, which is probably going to be just as ridiculous, you know, just as, just as ridiculously difficult in some cases. And I'm thinking that maybe because because they're giving us the 120 units, if they're if they're gonna if they're gonna to use it as something that's weekly, that's gonna take us weekly to be able to get the materials to 120 a unit. It's just gonna take. It's probably gonna take you know a lot longer to do that, which means that we may have some difficulty trying to do the 190 missions and what I'm speculating is that the 190 missions may be a little too much for you know um, what's the word I'm looking for it, it'll probably be a little too much for the majority of players who don't have the you know all the stuff that they need yet or any of the gear that they need or specific units that they need and i think that what will happen is the devs is going to start seeing that happen and i'm guessing a few people are probably going to complain about it as well and therefore that's going to lead to the creation of the t8 gear and then what i'm thinking too is that if if we're gonna get the T, if we're gonna get the tier eight, let's say if it does happen, it's probably gonna end up being locked behind these things here. So only the T eight gear can be available when beating the one ninety. So I think that that's a possibility. I've always suspected this, that this is probably what they're going to do, where they're going to give us a, possibly a tier eight set of gear, but only time will tell, right? And I'm, I'm thinking that this is probably going to happen probably far down the line of the game. But that's that. That's going to be interesting though. 170 and 190. That's that's interesting. I think they had mentioned something too on one of the on one of the missions where they said like be prepared for an attack, like for the unit and. Well, for the boss character and then the like their attacks. So I'm guessing that they're gonna have probably different attack patterns and stuff like that. Yeah, I can't wait to try it out. <coughs> and then this is the list of rewards that we're gonna be getting. Which again, we're gonna be getting the Awaken coupon. This is the selector. And then this is the randomizer. 
I believe. And we're gonna get it, and obviously we're gonna get another coupon right here. Now the coupon for mines, I think I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm probably gonna choose Leica. I'm gonna choose Leica just so I can complete the set for the Canary Squad. Because I I've tried to get Leica at one point. Well, I wanted to wait until it was the right time to get Leica, but it was never the right time. <laughs> so I'm just, yeah. So now this is probably the right time to do that. So I'm probably gonna use that for Leica, and then I think we're getting yeah we are. We, whoa 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 hold up wait a minute wait a minute a list of rewards right? So we're getting one select oh wait a minute so we're getting three awakens. If I'm reading this right. So we're getting one selector. And then we're getting two. We're getting two random awakens. Oh, that's dope. And then we're getting one. Huh. Yeah. And we're getting one, one selector. And then we're getting three randomizers for the SSRs. And then we're getting one selector for the operator, which I'm, I'm probably going to use it on probably an operator that that's probably close to level eight. <sighs> that's what I'm probably going to do. And then we get a selector for the SSR ships. I could definitely use another 130. And then we'll, oh, this is nice. Whoa, this is nice. And we're getting four of that too. Four of the Swift Relic gear. Oh, that's gonna be cool. I wonder. I wonder if we can the gear coupon. I wonder if that's the one where we can also select the set types. That would be that would be interesting. And it's not like a randomizer or anything like that. If that is the case, I would love that. And then we're, you know, we're getting the inhibitor gear stuff and the breacher. Oh, this is it. This is what this is what I was um, talking about. Oh, but this time we're not getting the swift version of it. So they're only going to give us the breacher and the inhibitor. Hmm. Yeah, I, th I think I can find something with that. And obviously we're getting the rare skin, one rare skin, and one uncommon skin. Those are always nice to have. And six pure possibilities. That's, whoa. Wow. That's awesome. And then we're getting fusion cores, 75. Nice. That's pretty, that's pretty much a full 110. And yeah, not bad. Two thousand quarts. That's cool. Eight million credits. Eh, I kind of wish it was more, but it's whatever. Two name binaries, one hundred, and we got the sixty-five set binaries. Fifty. I wish they didn't really give us. I wish they gave us a little bit more. Maybe like maybe thirty or forty-five relic binaries. You know that couldn't hurt. And also too, I would like for them to rework the relic binary stuff so rather than trying to randomize the percentages which I, I guess that's fine but it would be so much better if, it, if we can also use the relic binaries to reset the well not to reset but to re-roll the specific you know the specific set for the latent abilities I would love for that to happen because it would just make things so much easier <coughs> This is the nano precision enhancement. Oh, okay, I know what this is. 900 factor binders. Nice. Then we got the thir uh, 30 ship component ca coupon. Mm. You know, I I think that this should, per I personally think that this should probably be like 50, but it is what it is. And then we're getting 20 of these. 20 of the 30 APT cores. That's nice. <laughs> that's uh, that's cool. And then these are these are basically the awakens that's going to be in the tickets. 
I think it goes all the way up to the dino. Yeah, so it goes all the way up to here. I don't think the the last awaken is gonna show up here. I don't think Alice is gonna appear in this one. Yeah, I'm not seeing her. And then there's the SSR units. Which I think I'm only missing a few of them. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll get if I get lucky I'll probably get at least one of them. From the randomizer. And then these are the operators. Oh, and these are, these are the ships. Yeah, this is this is pretty interesting stuff. Like overall, I I, I'm, I like this uh, this Annie. This Annie is gonna be interesting. It's gonna we're gonna get a lot of new features, and we're gonna be getting a 120. Yeah, but I I really do think that we're probably gonna get a tier eight gear just so we can easily deal with the harder content especially with the 190 raids i can't even <laughs> i can't even imagine how how crazy this that's gonna be but i mean i mean we we're, we're already like you know if you if you have like a well-established account and stuff like that or well-established units we were we i mean we're pretty much destroying the 150s so Oh, we gotta see. I think this is coming in September, right? Yeah, it might be. This is, might be September, because I, I I don't think this is gonna be in the the next update that we're gonna get in like a few hours or so. But I'm I am looking forward to doing this. Well. Um, you know, farming the fusion cores. I'm looking forward to doing this. I'm just wondering. I'm wondering what the cost is going to be for this. Like, how many fusion cores? Maybe like 50 or something like that. Or maybe depending on what the cost is for this. Maybe it's just one. All I know though is probably gonna cost a shit ton of credits. And as you can see, I don't have much. <laughs> I'm gonna have to farm this out of there. But um yeah, that was that was pretty much it, right? That was pretty much it what they give what they're giving us for now. Some of these are gonna show up in September and a few other months, and I'm looking forward to the new Awaken though. The new Awaken that the KR server has. That that character looks awesome. Looks interesting. And definitely want to try out the rearm unit here. I really wonder who this is who this is. Cause I remember they said something about it in the live stream that 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 this was gonna be something that was like surprising. But judging by the hair. I really do think it's um it's either Jane Doe or <coughs> Ooh. it's either Jane Doe or it's possibly uh what's her name? Revenant. But then judging by the coat I would think that this is uh the mansion. The the mansion master. I think I I, I really do think it's her. I, like that that's that's like my first assumption. My first assumption would be the Mansion Master. I think that that's her. My second guess would probably be Revenant. And then the last guess would be Jane Doe. It, it has to be a, at least one of them. But you know what? It's probably not even... It's probably neither of them. <laughs> I could be completely wrong about it. And this, like... We, we already know we, we we just know but if it's not then it's like whoa <laughs> but this one I'm really wondering what this one is I think I think I, I personally think it's, it's possibly Ray like a gender bent Ray could be or Lee Soo Young I think it's the, I think it's one of those two but yeah guys so I mean so um, you know 
let me know down in the descriptions you know and uh not the descriptions the comment sections <laughs> let me know in the comment sections you know um what you think of this this year's uh half any 1.5 and you know let me know what you're excited to see next but i think i personally think that this is this is a pretty good any right here this is gonna be dope it's gonna be interesting and uh yeah till next time guys catch you later